Your success is a rags to riches story. As a farmer boy, together with three classmates, you co-founded Fosan and built it into one of China's largest private conglomerates. Were you relentless and determined to survive against all odds? You never gave up. I feel thankful for this era and what I mentioned, our ability to learn. It's not a matter of giving up because I always enjoy such a lifestyle. As an entrepreneur, this is what gives me a fulfilling lifestyle, just like any job that others do. If I give it up, I have no idea what other lifestyles will be better for me. I chose it, I persevered, and I am happy. So giving up is not an option. You've been called China's Warren Buffett, and you said before he's one of your role models. Any valuable lessons you've learned from the Oracle of Omaha? I feel that we are Buffett's students. Most importantly, we learn two things from him. Firstly, to persevere in making strategic investments. Secondly, to have the dual focus of investment and insurance, which we take a leaf from. That is why we have the biggest insurance company in Portugal, and we will keep developing this sector. We will also focus on unlocking health insurance and medical insurance together with pharmaceutical and medical management to create a comprehensive solution for our customers. We do, after all, belong to a different generation as Buffett. I did not understand one of his concepts previously. He said he doesn't really like high-tech industries, but now I understand. In his time, to make light bulb accessible to everyone, it would take a very long process, as the global economy was not as connected then and there wasn't the financial and resource capacity to scale production. As Fosun now strives to be a leading tech company, our thinking is different because the world is in a different place now. The rate of tech innovation is very fast. The time from labs to production to products being in the global market has shortened by so much. It means that if you can take the lead in innovative technology, you can take the lead in the global economy. This helps to better serve your customers faster. In order for Fosun to become a leading innovation company, we have to be different from Buffett. While we need to learn from him, we do not necessarily have to copy everything he does, because we both come from a different era. What we need to learn is the logic behind his concepts, why he had his ideas, and how we can find answers in his logic in today's times. Have you ever met Warren Buffett in person? Yes, I have met him twice, including once when he came to China. And the other time when President Xi brought us to the US for a conference. I'm honored to learn from him. Did you ask him for advice? I feel that to learn about enterprise is not just to ask him a few questions or to see what he had done in the long term. It's to analyze the logic behind his decisions and actions, decisions that are worth learning. It's too superficial to just meet him and ask him a few questions. Whether it's an hour long or a few minutes, you won't be able to learn anything. It is more about learning his character face to face when you meet him. In order to truly understand an enterprise, you need to look at what he has invested, his decisions and the logic behind them, as well as his thought process. His letters to stakeholders annually is also a good source of wisdom, and a deeper approach is what we truly need to learn. Mm. You co-founded Fosan 25 years ago, built it into a Chinese conglomerate with operations in more than 50 countries. As chairman of Fosan, what role do you play in the company? Do you still make all the decisions, or do you spend most of your time mapping out the vision of the company? I do not make all the decisions, but I participate in all the important decisions. I think a good decision is not made by one person. It is a process of sharing the wisdom involving everyone from the human resource department to legal entities and lawyers. 
There is no perfect decision. All you can do is balance the risks and benefits to business. So to speak, it's a decision-making process by all. This is how Fosun makes all its decisions. Of course, in very challenging times, I cannot escape being the sole decision-maker. This is my job. I enjoy this role and the responsibility. How would you describe your leadership and your management style? What are you like as the chairman of Fosun? My leadership style is as follows. When I know that someone in the team knows more than me, I can let them take the lead without saying a word. For instance, if we go to a place and I believe that there is a person who knows the way, I will follow the person. If the team does not know how to move, I will step up to decide how we should do that. I am not a one-sided leader where what I say is final. I am also definitely not a lazy and irresponsible leader. So I think it's important to be both a team player as well as a person who is determined to lead the team. So I think it is important to be both a team player as well as a person who is determined to lead the team. It has to be a combination of both. I think it is a balance. Here in China, the world of business and private enterprise is often intertwined very closely with politics, with the state. As chairman of Fosun, how do you manage this very delicate relationship with the Chinese government and still keep focus on running the business? For the first 30 to 40 years, the Chinese government focused on fulfilling the basic needs of its people. Now, whether it is the government or private enterprises, the main focus is to fulfill the needs of people to pursue a beautiful life. What we need to do is to provide better products and solutions for their pursuit. Fosun's objectives are in line with what the government and citizens want. There is no need to communicate intentionally. I am deeply appreciative of the anti-corruption drive in the last few years, which I found to be impressive. Through the exercise, the relationship between the government and enterprise becomes simpler, aligning all of our priorities under the guidance of the market and leaders. Here are a few words of wisdom by the leader of Zhejiang that sums up our vision as well. The government is competent, the market is efficient, and enterprises can thrive in a relatively transparent and stable environment. So I feel that the overall system is getting better. There's no need to do anything else except to do a good job in whatever you are doing already. So you find and you feel that you have the full backing and the support of the Chinese government behind what you're trying to do, building the business? Of course, I feel that the government's support to Chinese enterprise is consistent. The development of private enterprise is a very important part of the whole Chinese economy. For companies like Fosun, every step we take is inseparable from the country's strategy. And finally, you've just been given the Lifetime Achievement Award by CNBC This Network here in Shanghai. What advice can you give others on how to create great successful businesses? Learning is very important. Secondly, the team and its people are important. Fosun takes pride in being a global enterprise, and in some ways we are different from other enterprises. We have a partnership system with partners from 28 different countries. I always tell my employees that Fosun is a global enterprise from China. So when it comes to manpower, we cannot solely rely on Chinese people. We must engage people internationally, regardless of their race and nationality. Fosun is giving equal opportunities for them to develop. This is very important. In the future, Fosun aims to hire more talents in digital and technology. And that was Chairman of Fosun International, Guo Guangchang, talking to me here in Shanghai. Hope you've enjoyed the program. Do check us online at managingasia.cnbc.com for more exclusive leadership insights. Until next time, I'm Christine Tan. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Christine Tan, and thanks for watching Managing Asia on CNBC Live. 
you can check out more of our great content by clicking on the videos on screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the very best in feature programming. Thanks for watching.